In just over three decades, the city of Temecula has evolved from its humble beginnings as a small Western ranch town into an innovative and dynamic economic center. Encompassed by the heart of Southern California wine country, with new opportunities abound, Temecula prioritized maintaining its safe, small town charm and historic character. This magical combination continues to create a prosperous place to live and work. Today, the economic strength of Temecula has proved to be especially impressive in the face of COVID-19. As many projects were completed before the pandemic, many others were able to continue throughout these unprecedented times. And new ones are emerging with a renewed entrepreneurial determination to move forward safely with good health and great fortitude. In Old Town, businesses have completely reimagined their operations to creatively operate outside. The innovation of our small businesses citywide is certainly evident here in Old Town, where the setting is conducive for street side dining and shopping. The city hung string lights and framed the roads with planters, and Old Town businesses have taken it to another level. They've built raised patio platforms, decorative fencing, new furniture. What's not to love? Patrons are safely enjoying the fresh air experience in this charming environment. A brand new restaurant embracing the open air approach is Small Barn on Old Town Front Street, which expanded upon its barnyard appeal and opened for business this summer. Stroll through Old Town and you will find a brand new three-story mission style structure and a 7,000 square foot expansion to a craftsman style commercial building that also completed construction this summer. Both are prime locations for restaurants, shops, entertainment, and more. In fact, Coinop, a retro-style arcade with dining, has made a home here, just across the street from the recently expanded Old Town Blues Club, another popular venue. At the corner of Main Street, you'll find Under the Willow Boutique, occupying a completely renovated building. And next door is Be Good Restaurant, which opened in July and also renovated its interior and exterior, offering unique experiences with your meal. To offset the street parking being utilized for outdoor business space, the city added 90 temporary spaces in front of City Hall, and it's working out well. We're also in the process of conducting a new Old Town study to review our plans for long-term parking, supply, and demand. On 4th Street, a four-story hotel with underground parking recently received the green light, as did a new multifamily project comprised of 60 units to be located where Pujol meets Main Street. Four hotels are in varying stages of construction or review in Uptown Temecula. Three are on Jefferson Avenue, including a four-story Staybridge Suites nearing completion, a three-story Hilton Garden Inn that began construction this summer, and an approved three-story hotel at the corner of Winchester Road. On Madison Avenue, plans were submitted last month for a four-story Wood Spring Suites. But Uptown Temecula isn't all business. Its very first residential project, comprised of a 77-unit multifamily, sleek, industrial-style housing development, is proposed to provide a trendy, modern housing option in the city. In order to spur redevelopment north of Old Town, we created a specific plan and designated it Uptown Temecula. Property owners here have special incentives, such as added land use options and streamlined approvals. We are now seeing tangible results, including this proposed housing development, new hotels, and much more is to come. On the south end of town, Temecula Creek Inn, the city's original luxury resort, sprawling over 300 acres with hundreds of oak trees, a majestic backdrop for picturesque weddings, is refreshing its guest rooms with new paint, flooring, furnishings, linens, and upgraded in-room technology. Its on-site restaurant, Cork Fire Kitchen, reopened a few weeks ago with outdoor seating overlooking magnificent views of its 27-hole golf course, complete with extensive upgrades to its tee boxes, greens, and bunkers. Not too far away is a brand new, beautifully constructed Mexican cafe restaurant on Pachanga Parkway, anticipated to open any day. Just south of Pachanga Resort Casino, with easy access across the street from the Wolf Creek neighborhood and Birds All Sports Park, is a newly built center featuring Steak and Shake, Hot Nails, and Papa's Pizza Grotto with more to come. 
Buffalo Wild Wings made their grand entrance on Temecula Parkway in February 2020 after an extensive interior and exterior remodel. Farther east on Temecula Parkway is a brand new Quick Burger, which is to be the first of a future nationwide franchise. Just walking distance to Temecula Valley Hospital is a newly completed two-story medical plaza on the corner of De Portola and Margarita Road, which houses 19,000 square feet of new office space. In Midtown, overlooking beautiful views at the Duck Pond, Pat and Oscars has been entirely reinvented as Oscars Brewing Company and reopened in June with an all-new modernized interior and exterior. Just next door, on the 12-acre parcel adjacent to the Duck Pond, the landowner has submitted plans for a 270-unit multifamily development with a clubhouse, fitness center, pool, spa, dog park, and more. If you visited Polomar Village Shopping Center recently, you must have noticed its brand new look and feel after completing a year-long major renovation with new exterior facades and updated colors. Starbucks replaced the former Jiffy Lube in this center, but not to worry, a brand new American Tire Depot is finishing construction across town on Yanez Road and will offer oil changes plus tires. Nearby the new American Tire Depot will be Temecula Valley Lexus, expected to create 55 new full-time jobs. Once grading is complete, construction will begin. Speaking of future job opportunities, plans for four industrial buildings totaling 60,000 square feet on Avenida Alvarado were recently submitted through the city's virtual online system. If you are looking for an upscale indoor and outdoor leisurely shopping experience that is enjoyable for the entire family, the Promenade Temecula is the place to be. It recently welcomed lush handmade cosmetics and completed an expansion and remodel of Hollister to include Gilly Hicks. On February 1st, property management changed to Brookfield, bringing a fresh look at potential opportunities for new retailers and future redevelopment. We also have some new deals in the works that will be announced soon. We see a bright light here in the future and we're looking forward to 2021. Next door to the Promenade, Phil's Barbecue opened in July after a 6,300 square foot reconstruction of its interior and exterior. Residential developments accommodating Temecula's aging residents are finding infill properties throughout the city. One such project was approved in August and is comprised of a 107 unit assisted living and memory care facility. Another senior housing project is nearing completion of its construction and located on De Portola, near the hospital. We are a big advocate for our senior population, and I'm pleased to see more housing and resources being developed for them, including this brand new 92-unit skilled nursing and memory care health center. It's conveniently located close to Temecula Valley Hospital, which, by the way, achieved accreditation as a geriatric emergency department earlier this year. Approved in June is a four-story, 496-unit compound on Yanez at Date Street intended for seniors needing assistance or living independently. Also proposed at the corner of Yanez and Date Street is a 325-unit project for families and individuals of all ages, featuring a variety of detached townhomes and duplexes. Similarly, a community of 245 homes comprised of duplexes and triplexes called Rancho Saleo is under construction at Pachanga Parkway and Loma Linda Road. And a 160-unit community under construction on Cosmic and Rancho California Road will sit above several commercial pads for future stores and restaurants, ideal for a walkable live, work, and shop setting. With such an abundance of growth over the years, the city of Temecula is nearing build-out, but there are still two large swaths of land that have been entitled and graded for years. Altair, slightly elevated above Old Town, will provide a walkable, upscale live-work community that captures beautiful views of the valley. And Somers Bend, located off of Butterfield Stage Road, has been creating quite a stir. Over 7,000 people are on the waiting list for new homes in this development, and some are buying sight unseen. This community will have over 12 new home collections, including standard and senior housing, plus 76 half-acre estate lots. 
And to round out Temecula's overall desirability, students will soon be able to conveniently continue their journey of higher education at the new Mount San Jacinto campus at Temecula. Tenant improvements are being completed at two five-story structures, totaling 350,000 square feet of academic space anticipated to open in the spring of 2021. 2020 has been a year for the record books. Temecula's dynamic local market continues to propel the city through the COVID-19 global pandemic, taking all health precautions for a bright and prosperous future.